it is race day 10, days at sea 12, and we are about 30 miles or so uh, south of the equator. So today is equator crossing day. Uh, we're going to have some of our crew, I think there's about eight crew that are going to be going from a polywog to a shellback, going through King Neptune's court. Um, so it should be a very entertaining day and um, looking forward to what's to come. I'm Mike. I'm a regular guy that loves adventure. Come follow along as I crew aboard Team WTC Logistics in Leg 5 of the 2019-2020 Clipper Around the World Yacht Race, an ocean race for amateurs just like myself. So also in the, the news that we've received, uh, there is a coronavirus that is going through China and I've just heard that's in parts of Europe now uh, and it's caused kind of a, a global shutdown of the uh, borders in China and Hong Kong. Um, we are due in in about two weeks to Sanya and at this stage I have a feeling that the race is probably going to be changed and we'll finish in Subic Bay uh, with race two and race three being cancelled uh, for leg five of the Clipper race. Uh, that's just me guessing at this stage. I don't have the official uh, word from them, but uh, it's just kind of a, a change to what the original plan was, but definitely understand given uh, you know, the health implications that could uh, are taking place in the world. Um, in the meantime, we'll just keep sailing and um, see what happens. So where are we at from a racing front? Well, the skeds keep coming in and we are still in second place. Yes. And uh, behind Ha Long Bay, Vietnam. Uh, and we're trying to slowly reel them in and we're headed to the scoring gate. Uh, we're looking to hopefully be second across and bag two additional race points. It would take 18 more hours to go 30 nautical miles due to wind shift and yet another wind hole. <laughs> Putting out our fishing line here, um, using a flying fish that ended up on the deck, and uh, we're hoping to have some yellowfin tuna sashimi for uh, lunch. <laughs> Condemned. We're on death row. Waiting with mates and breath. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay then boys and girls. So we crossed the equator last night um, or early this morning. Um, but uh, equator crossing is not complete without going through our uh, initiation of uh, you've not crossed the equator before by sea or a polywog. Once you've been through the initiation, you then become a shellback. Okay, this is a tradition that dates back hundreds of years. So um, it's uh, a little bit of fun. Um, our sins that we are, can are going to confess don't have to be restricted to just the boat. Um, 
first of all, King Neptune's assistant, Davy Jones. <laughs> and now Have you heard of the saying, what happens in Las Vegas, stays in Las Vegas? Let's just say the confessions that happen on the boat, stay on the boat. <laughs> Instead, you can enjoy some of the facial reactions to the confessions. our domain. Welcome to our kingdom! How was it? Uh, I mean it was an experience, I won't forget. Uh, I think I'm never going to forget the flavour of that green stuff. I look forward now to uh, getting back home, getting the tattoo and becoming a member of a very elite club of those who have sealed across the equator and a proper yacht. Thank you very much indeed, team. I think for me, the highlight of the ceremony was Neptune's speech. Oh, yeah. And his outfit was quite something. Well, welcome to the club. Thank you, Thank you very much. much. Join me next time as we go below deck and experience what it's like to be on Mother Watch, including cooking 54 meals per day and helping keep crew morale high. You don't want to miss it.